Okay, problem 3.10b of Griffith's fourth edition reads, A uniform line charge, lambda, is placed on an infinite straight wire. This distance d above a grounded conducting plane. Find the charge density sigma induced on the conducting plane. Okay, so if we're going to follow our equivalent configuration, we're in your, uh, your y, x, y plane is here, and your z axis is here. Here we placed our uh, infinitely long wire with line charge lambda. And then the equivalent configuration is that there is a parallel line charge with negative line charge density, negative lambda, located here. This line charge is distance d away from the xy plane. Our original charge is d away from the xy plane. We know that the potential in the previous number is given by lambda over 4 pi epsilon naught times ln of uh, y squared plus z plus d squared divided by y squared plus z minus d squared. Okay. Now the question is, find the charge density. So we already know that the surface charge density induced in this uh, conducting plane, in the x y uh, located in the x y plane, is given by a negative epsilon times the the derivative of the potential with respect to the normal direction. In this case, the normal direction would be the z direction. And then we are going to evaluate this on the, on the position where the conducting plane is located. In this case, z is equal to zero. Okay, so if we're going to do this, this will be equal to uh, this will be equal to negative lambda over 2 pi. Again, I'm going to skip to the mathematics of them all. I'm just going to skip to the second to the last uh, line, wherein sigma is equal to lam negative lambda over 2 pi times d over d squared plus y squared plus d over d squared plus y squared, which gives us the expression for sigma to be negative lambda t divided by pi times d squared plus y squared. So you will notice here that sigma is only a function of y. So this is now the induced charge density sigma on this conducting plane. Okay.